Hey guys and gals, Sam here with another Sam Music Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about Baroque composers and today's Baroque composer is Johann Christian Bach. So what do we know about Bach? He was born in Germany, um, quite a nice place at the time. Uh, He was born in 1685 and many of his family members were already musicians at the time. Uh, we know that his father was the director of the town musicians um, the, the town that he lived in, he directed those musicians that lived there uh, his uncles were also professional musicians and it was believed that his father taught him violin and uh, harpsichord um, his brother also taught Jonathan the clavichord which is also thought to be one of Bach's favourite instruments to play um, He, his brother showed him Lots of contemporary music, um, which also enlightened uh, Christian to uh, move forward in music. And he went to a school called St. Michael's in Lundberg. And after graduating, he served as a director of music uh, to Leopold, Prince of Anhalt. And he received the title of Royal Composer later on in life from uh, Augustus III. Uh, we know his mother died in 1693 and his father died eight months uh, later, which is rather upsetting. Uh, he was only 10, so he moved in with his brother at the age of 10. Um, his brother exposed him to the work of Pachelbel. Uh, this also helped to enlighten uh, back of different types of music and helped to enlighten him with cultures that he was also taught at school at St Michael's uh, but he took part in a choir at St Michael's he played the the organ and the, the harpsichord that the school had um, he composed uh, music for Good Friday services and oratorios and, ch- and churches um, he made many different songs for weddings and funerals each one unique for the, the person he was making it for um, in 1733, he composed a mass for the, the Drensen court, um, and nearing the end of his life, he extended this composition into the large-scale mass in B minor. Uh, this was never performed fully during Bach's lifetime. Bach used a variety of different keys, but most notably D major. Uh, but yeah, as we see, he's, he did use a lot of different keys, whether it be major or minor. Um, but he mainly composed because his family was already in the music industry. They, they already performed, they composed. It was just their way of life. Um, for a part of his life, his older brother uh, helped to fund his education, um, teaching him about music, enlightening him about music. But soon after he, was, uh, he graduated, when he was 20, he moved to Italy and he became a private performer for uh, Count Lita. And Lita funded uh, Bach's further musical education. Um, Bach could have, uh, depending on the pieces that Bach was performing, he could have large scale orchestras, which you'd obviously have to pay everyone, so it would cost quite a bit. Or you'd have small scale orchestras. And no matter which, they all sounded good because he was just such a good composer. Uh, but unfortunately, Bach died of a stroke later on in his life after losing basic mobility and sight and functions that you need to live. But yes, unfortunately, he died of a stroke. But unfortunately, that's all we have for this time on the Sound Music Podcast. I uh, hope you tune in next time. We'll be talking about current pop and why it's bad.